Steph Curry, you're watching DXB today. Good evening to one and all and welcome to not just any old edition of DXB today because today is the day that we celebrate the big 100. 100 not out. Very special episode coming your way. Here's what's coming up. We're shooting hoops and scoring goals today as we meet top local sporting talent. Katie has been practicing with the star players of the Minnesota Timberwolves and Dallas Mavericks, while Khalda has been checking out Dubai's largest indoor sporting venue. And we'll get to know the Emirati entrepreneur who owns the newest women's football club here in the UAE. All that to look forward to, and what better way to celebrate 100 not out with a sports special. <laughs> it's very Absolutely. fitting, isn't it? Uh, we were discussing this, 100 episodes. We can't quite believe it. It's been such a ride, season three. What has been your highlight so far, Dina? Okay, for me, it's quite easy. Hans Zimmer interview that I did. Oh, it was my birthday. I was so excited to get to meet him on my birthday. Then he found out from the crew, and halfway through the episode, he, uh, through half, halfway through the interview, he stopped everything and started singing happy birthday to me. Aww. It was pretty incredible. I yeah. love that. Tom, I what about you? Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about this one. Couldn't really look past John Cleese. I thought that was a brilliant one. Um, mm. Wasn't so much the, the, the entertainment we had during the interview and during the episode, the extended stay with him, but just what a sort of great character he was to have yeah. on set as well. Just constantly trying to make people smile and laugh. He's just such a nice guy. Yeah. I met him just outside the studio and he was just so wonderful to every single person he came across. Um, I'm gonna follow the theme of celebrity interviews. For me, it was Tyra Banks. Oh, I mean, she is an idol of mine. And you know, they say, don't meet your idols because they might disappoint. She did not. She yeah. was absolutely amazing, so inspiring. And, and I remember that interview, Nimi. She was so impressed with you. She kept saying that you were an incredible presenter. So you know, you know what? We, we, there's no need for us to rest on our laurels. Uh, you know, who knows? The hundredth episode could be the highlight <laughs> for us all, could it not? Eh? I know. Uh, and I'm looking forward to this one as well because we've got something of a sports special. And one thing I've noticed during my time here in the UAE, specifically in Dubai, is the extraordinary talent that is now coming to the UAE to call home, uh, to call uh, the place for their businesses as well, uh, and a number of uh, current uh, athletes and, and professionals also using the facilities here mm -hmm. for training. So a great little celebration. That's what we are all about here at DXB today, is celebrating what this great city offers. And sports, whatever your sport might be, you're covered here mm -hmm. in the UAE. Absolutely, and on this episode, that is for sure. And you know, every episode we have a guest co-host who graces us on this sofa to share their insight on what we're talking about. And today's one is an award-winning former professional basketball player who's very tall and now runs a very <laughs> successful sports club here in Dubai. Uh, he's also known as the Lebanese Tiger. Please welcome to DXB today, Fadi Al Khatib. Hi guys, I'm Fadi Al Khatib. I'm gonna be on the show today. Can't wait to see you. We'll find out what Fadi has been up to, but in the meantime, we heard about a newly opened indoor sports venue in Dubai, possibly the largest in the city. So of course, we sent Khaled to check it out. I'm here at Danube Sports World with the head, Rashid, and he's gonna tell us everything that's happening all about sports. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Rashid. So what sports can I get into? Um, this is the most unique place you can visit. Uh, so we cater for about eight different sports. Paddle, football, cricket, badminton, basketball, and tennis. So not only do we have the largest indoor sports facility, it's a unique sports facility as it is, um, where we have different academies where you can enjoy. Uh, we've got events where you can come and play, um, at birthday parties, and it's a place for corporates to host their sports days as well. So what is the age groups that you can expect people to come and actually try out sports, maybe learning sports? So like what is the youngest and let's say the oldest that you might have? This is where it gets interesting. You can go all the way from age three and all the way uh, uh, as old as you can go. The place is not only for the regular players. We've got training for toddlers. The, the um, elderly can also come and enjoy the sport because as we all know, sports is for all. One thing I realized being in this unique location is the size. Can you tell us a little bit more? Because I know it's like the largest in the world. It is. We've got the largest dome for a sports facility in the world. Um, the dome stands on 100,000 square feet. 
which is also a 25 meter high. So if you're playing football or paddle, this is the best place to be because there's no roof that's going to block your game. Well, I know when I was driving up, I said, OK, I know it looks big, but when I stepped inside, it looks huge and it's fascinating with all the facilities. So I can't wait to try out some sports for myself. So would you recommend anything? 100% paddle is the game, so get along with it. I just got trained one-on-one -on -one at Champs Basketball Academy right here in Dunloop Sports World. So come on and get your game on. So wow, kicking things off in style with a look at some of the extraordinary world-class facilities that are available pretty much year-round now here in the UAE, right here in Dubai. Uh, and great to welcome our guest co-host to proceedings now, the Tiger is in the house, all right, people? <laughs> the Lebanese Tiger is alongside us. Fadi, great to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks pleasure. so much indeed for, for agreeing to do this for us. Pleasure. It's a pleasure for all of the crew thank and, you. of course, all the presenters here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, listen, let's ask the Dubai question, if we can, for a man that has pretty much been there, done that, won just about anything you could when it came to basketball in mm. Lebanon. Take that further afield and all the stints you had across uh, in other countries around the world, the achievements, the Asia Championships, the FIBA Championships as well. You know, you could have pretty much set up a camp just about anywhere in the world. Why Dubai? Well, it's been, it's been always Dubai has been my second home. So previously when we used to play in the 90, uh, late 90s, beginning 2000s, we used to come play the best championships in Dubai. So Dubai International Tournament used to be the best international tournament in the region. All European teams, you know, Arab teams, Asian teams come compete there. Mm. So, and then I started my company, Rent Car Company in 2004 in Dubai. Mm. Uh, the, at that stage, I was still playing, but I was, you know, I had my partner here and, yeah. you know, keep go going back and forth. Until the day that I retired, and I created Champs in Lebanon. So I saw a big potential in Dubai mm. because the complex I created is needed. Yeah. And Dubai is the hub for you know, any country around Dubai to be jealous from. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally saying it clearly. Mm. You know, whatever you open Dubai and you succeed, everyone, everyone around uh, Dubai wants to do the same. Yeah. Well, tell us about the Champ Sports Club. It's obviously yeah. taken off, super busy, and you're quite involved yourself. Yeah. You're, you're teaching, yeah. you're yeah. playing with the kids. I've seen a lot of the footage. Yeah. I'm very excited to go visit uh, next week. We'll, we'll love to. Um, well, it's, it's, a, it's a community. It's a nice sports family-oriented club that you can bring your kids. If, if, if you're a mom, you can bring your kids, put them in the academy while they're in the academy playing basketball, football, gymnastics. You can do your trainings as well. Mm -hmm. You can do the classes. And it's an outstanding gym that we have in, uh, in Champs. And now, after two years, we're, I'm with three, four locations, opening soon in Dubai Mall. Well done. So the, the idea is to create this nice community related to sports mm -hmm. that, you know, usually you go take your kid, put them in the football court or basketball court. Mm -hmm. They practice, you sit and you, would, you watch, or you have to take one kid to, uh, to the football, drop them off, take the other kid to the basketball, drop them off and do your workout. Now here, you can put your kid and another kid in another activity. You do your workouts while you're seeing them doing the workout, just go all glass, the gym, and then enjoy, you know, enjoy the atmosphere over there. The vibes are energetic. Yeah. It's nonstop energy in chance positivity community is amazing and that's what uh, makes us you know different than others it makes you special uh, yeah. fadi what i love about your journey is that i mean i guess you've seen both sides you yeah. were the professional basketball player and now now you're running uh, yeah. an organization yeah. that provides that for for younger kids or or adults um, what did you learn during your time as a professional basketball player that is implemented into your organization today mindset mm overcoming obstacles challenges because i started business at the age of 25 because mm. i always wanted to be you know a basketball player and a businessman so when i created champs it was one of my babies 
because that's that goes with my knowledge and experience and what I saw in the world playing in the in states playing in China Europe you know all over the world and I wanted to create this you know mindset for our athletes that we have them in there that you know mental toughness uh, determination commitment and there's I told parents if you're coming and you're putting your kids to have fun this is not the place our place is proper training hard training you know uh, and parents are liking it it's changing a lot now the identity in champs is yeah I'm bringing my son or my daughter to train proper training it's not just another activity that we're putting them in so th th there I want to create this mindset and now our athletes they know because sometimes I go into practice you know just to supervise and I run the practice the whole practice mm. Mm. I do it tough for them to understand that this is a proper training and um, uh, this is what was needed I know there is a lot of academies doing it and uh, I wanted to put my taste my twist in, in what we are doing in, in there so what's next for Dubai the reason I asked that superstars like yourself you mentioned other academies as mm -hmm. well there's great facilities now exactly. being developed here at the moment some great um, some great superstars coming here we've seen the NBA in town yeah. as well for their off-season yeah. games etc what's the next step what do we need to do next to take basketball to the next level here in Dubai well it's it's um, when academies are doing their work and their job it needs to reflect back to the Federation and to the authority, the governmental authority that is related to sports. Create more uh, uh, open tournaments that expats can be part of it. Mm. And they are doing this. Uh, have higher budgets for, you know, uh, proper foreigner players to come play in the league because this will uplift the, the, you know, the, the experience and the game of the local players. And this is what's needed. When, uh, when we played mm. and then the budgets and you know the teams were putting a lot of money in, uh, in the clubs, directly the level will, will go up. Why? You're more committed, you're 24 hours working for this job, you don't have to look for another job to be able to live yeah. and there you know, you'll be you know, committed to, to this working, eating, training, developing yourself plus the imports players that are coming to the league. So it needs a lot of sponsors to come in, believe, and this is what's happening in football in Saudi, example. Mm -hmm. You see the budgets, you see, and, and then the level is up. That's what, what is needed. Academies are doing fine. Mm. Uh, we try to eliminate the commercial academies, sure. because commercially, you know, we will end up bringing any coach, just run the practice, we have a good facility and then there is no development programs, mm. cur proper curriculum. We work, say 2022, we work for the 2023 full year cu uh, curriculum. Mm. And yeah. I'm, supervised, uh, I'm, I'm supervising in this, in every aspect. Yeah, well, that mindset is there. It's, it's inbuilt in the core of what you're creating, Fadi. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to hear about it uh, yeah. furthermore yeah. throughout the episode as we are joined by more co-hosts and guests on this very sofa. Now, every evening, we love ending the show with an amazing performance. So it's time for you to meet our featured singer for tonight, Sean Lipsy. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm from the United States. I, I've been living here in Dubai since 2017 and I do music for a living, and I really enjoy doing it. Tonight I'm gonna to perform one of my original tunes called Stronger. It's a very inspirational song. It means a lot to, to me, and I hope that you really enjoy it. In a few moments, we'll meet the Emirati entrepreneur behind the newest women's football club in the UAE. And later on, as we promised, some of the NBA's star players have been practicing with our very own Katie Overy. Lucky old them, stay with us.